Hey guys, it's your boy Path of Gaming here with another video of how to climb this time out of diamond, out of uh, gold into perhaps platinum and diamond. And I have some platinum one player, diamond four player, so diamond, yeah, platinum three, platinum one and two and platinum four. So these guys are all basically higher level than I am. I'm in gold. But I will still be able to outplay them easily using better economy management, having a decent build, and of course, perhaps some placement as well. I will start off playing aggressively, as I want to do as much damage as I can to my opponent at the start, and mitigate the damage I take. That's basically the easiest way to survive to the late game. As I have in the video which I showcase on my channel, I managed to get a fourth place in, uh, in Masters, obviously, by just being aggressive, just leveling up and being aggressive all the time. Even though I had a relatively bad composition in the end, since I did so much damage to my opponents early on and maintained a healthy amount of, of HP, I was able to clutch forth. Now against these opponents, it will be a lot easier. But I hope that uh, they will use some, uh, let's say, standard builds. So now my favorite item is the belt, I mean is the armor. So I will position to grab the armor, and I will grab it, there we go, I have the armor, and as I mentioned in all my videos, I grab the armor because it makes Bramble, Red Buff, and GA. So last game, I played my, my old build, uh, or that rather mashup of uh, Void and Mech, and I might try that again. I, I, I really enjoy that game, and I think it's relatively strong. It consists of, of a lot of four cost units, so basically the whole point is leveling quite aggressively, getting up to those four cost units. Now, vanguards have gotten buffed, so I definitely want some vanguards. And Zix has gotten buffed, <coughs> while Caitlyn is still strong. I will try Zix this time, because that's 300 damage after 4 attacks, or rather 5 attacks. And Caitlyn does 750 damage after, I think it's 15 attacks, or some ridiculous number of attacks. So, less damage more often seems like a better thing than uh, a lot of damage once in combat. So that's a Giant Slayer, or Titan Brigade. <laughs> so just, just to compare, yeah it's 125, yeah that, that's just better. Obviously I get the Fiora. And I will buy the graves. Just get the strongest things possible. And look at that. That's 62%. 62% reduction. That's crazy. Unless they have magical damage, it's really hard to bust through. Now I clicked as fast as I could. Unfortunately, I did not get the graves. Now I can sell this, put this in, I will have to sell these two, and I can level up. And this is probably the strongest start you can have. Now I want, I can put a giant slayer right now. I will also want to build a red buff, but I can do that later. So, yeah, 
I don't think anything can actually beat this stock. And I can buy this eye out. Why not? So, basically this is gonna be my jinx. So Brawler Blaster has gotten nerfed a little bit. So it might be worth it to just get two Brawlers and add something else in. Perhaps a few Rebels for Jinx to make Jinx stronger at the start. But I definitely need Ezreal and I definitely need Blitz. Now I've been talking a lot, I haven't been scouting, so I can scout. We have Vanguard, Chrono, Vanguard, Blade Master Chrono, Chrono Brawler, Cybernetic, and Blade Master. Okay, good to know. They're doing a pretty good job, but Lucian was able to dodge graves. See, that, that's the power of uh, Vanguards. Vanguards are really powerful. So we should focus on some ability power. Now I can level up again and put in the Poppy. Which as I mentioned at the start, is I want to be aggressive, right? I want to be as aggressive as I can be. So this is just the most aggressive opener I can do. There is a Blitz over there. So we want to make sure that Lucian is close to the Blitz so that he doesn't get full. Now this guy does not have a tanky front line, while I have this crazy tanky vanguard. And I have a Lucian. So, there we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And we're looking for a belt for Lucian. Or... <coughs> Something to go with Ron. Perhaps even uh, a cloak. So a belt would be ideal. We could use a cloak. Obviously uh, another armor or sword would be great. So belt is gone. I, I, I presume I won't be able to get an armor or sword. If they give me an armor that would be amazing. Yeah, of course not. So, this is actually quite good. Yeah, another rod, why not? Rabidon's death cap is amazing on this fortune. And I think it's also decent on Aurelian Soul. And I think I'll be going six rebels. We will see what I'll be going. But uh, six rebels is definitely an option. So that's a lot stronger than Fiora. <laughs> and we sell all of this. Two star Annie. Okay. So he's slow five as well. A lot of people trying to keep, keep up with me. I like it. I like it a lot. But as you see, there aren't that many rebel players. He has a Malphite, but not that many people are going rebels. Yeah, they have a, a few odd Yasuo's here and there. But Rebels are relatively uncontested. Now there's the D taking out the Caitlyn. Caitlyn's out. And one that is gone. He's gone. Charmed, I'm sure. So nice and easy. I have my win streak. So I got one gold for winning. And I'm getting two gold for the win streak. So that's basically plus three. So I'm getting one interest, but I'm getting another we go. Right? No turning back now. Now I could level here if I'm really crazy, but I don't think it's necessary. I think I can take this guy out. Obviously I wanna hide my Lucian here. Make sure he's nice and protected. And where's the blitz? 
the blitz is all the way back there, so the blitz might broke a poppy, so that's completely fine. <coughs> we got a Velkos, that's unfortunate. I mean, if we could get a early Jinx, that would be great, but that doesn't happen all the time. And there we go. Nice and And we can just clean up like this. Nothing difficult. Now this guy might might go again. Yeah. Oh, he didn't win. Okay. So we want any of this? Sure, we'll take that. We'll get rid of these two. We can get rid of that. So we're still looking for Blitz, and we're looking for the Rebels. Let's see if we can get any of the Rebels. They don't seem to be playing many of the Rebels, so I should be able to get them. Oh, there's a, there's a Jinx. We should really be playing the Jinx, though, if we have her. I mean, I don't have to go Jinx, but with, with uh, the Giant Slayer, it's the uh, best option. I got lucky. Another buy. Get me next another buy. And there's my Jinx. That's amazing. I got Wing a Jinx. So I will put the Jinx in instead of the Lucian. And I'll put in the buy. Giant Slayer, Chain Vest. Hopefully that'll be a GA. We'll see. Now I don't have action. Let's do this. And I messed up, but thankfully there is a another chrono there. And that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate that the game is going to get killed. So I might even lose this. No, thankfully Poppy, no, Poppy, no, and uh, no. Now that's, that's pathetic. You don't want something this pathetic to happen to you. So, yeah, this is something you don't want to happen. I don't understand how, how that was able to happen, but yeah. There we go. Let's put it in some better units. Get Chrono going. Get rid of this. So we have a uh, Rabidon's death cap. So we might as well put that on on this. <coughs> and yeah, now we're not doing as great as we would like to be doing, but it is what it is. We want to get uh, at least some more brawlers. There we go. There's Jinx getting getting her buff, and once she's buffed, it's nice and easy. But she really needs to get excited, otherwise, uh, if Jinx does not get excited, then I kind of get excited. The time man has come to an end. There we go. We get rid of all of this. Now we have four Chrono, two Vanguard, two Blaster. Is Jinx safe? Jinx should be relatively safe, but um, we can make her a bit safer. Just make her, make her safer against uh, infiltrators. And we want stuff to get pulled towards Jinx so that she gets excited nice, nice and fast. There we go, nice and easy. So Jinx is gonna get her kill, so she's gonna start going faster. Now she's excited, and now she's dead. And we're dying to uh, Lucian. Yeah. Yep, very nice. So we still want that uh, armor or that belt, uh, sword or belt. So there's two swords which I'm probably not going to get, and there's a belt. So let's see what will we end up getting. Oh, there's getting a tear and a rod. Very nice. He's not going for a belt, uh, for a sword. He might be going for a sword. Okay, so it's not likely I'll get the sword. 
I might, no, 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 never mind. I'm not into the sword. So I guess I will get the belt then. The belt is for utility. I mean, you don't want to have Jinx's red buff, but you gotta get the red buff. So it better have a red buff somewhere. Uh, it's debatable whether it's good to have red buff on Jinx or not. That is debatable. So we sell all of this, and uh, we remind ourselves that we're actually trying not to go for Chrono, but rather to go for Rebels. So we need to find some more Rebels. Ideally all six of them. Barring, let's say, uh, Yasuo or Master Yi. We don't need all of them, but... Yeah, that's not good, that's not good. Jinx might get uh, jumped on by some infiltrators. Fortunately, he doesn't have any infiltrators, we don't need to do that. There we go. And once Jinx gets excited, it's nice. With the Giant Slayer and the Red Bomb, Just taking them out. Now, we remember the other numbers guy actually. Oh, was it this guy? No, this guy has jinxes. I don't know why he's getting jinx, but uh, yeah, that's just what he's doing. He's just getting a lot of jinx. Now this is a bit weaker, so I'm not going to do that right now. I can level up and put it in, which might actually be worth it, since I just won and I want to win again. So I should level up, I should put the knob I did, I will sell the Fiora, and he brought a 3 star great, so I don't understand how he's getting these 3 star units, but it shouldn't matter, he just got a, almost got excited, another unit has die, and nothing has died, so it looks like I'm going to lose. Just barely going to. And I won! Okay, so leveling up there definitely helped me win that. Thankfully. So now I would like to get some more. Uh... He got Jinx too, that's great, good for him. He just naturally rolled into that, and I think he's, he's going Jinx and Rebels, okay. So if he's going Rebels, then I guess I'm going a Brawler Blaster. Yeah. So I shouldn't have sold the Vibe, but that's unfortunate. I can get all the all the Blasters and all the Brawlers back. That's not a big problem. Well, there's another Blaster. Lucky. I shall roll a little bit for Rebels or Jinx. Another Rebel. How many Rebels is that? One, two, three Rebels. I have four Rebels. Perfect. So I will cut the Vanguards. And I will cut this. And then I will make sure that everything is buffing up my Jinx. I want the jinx and I want to get uh, another as well. Yeah, there we go. So I'm missing uh, Aurelian Soul, which will take a while to get. Um, Aurelian Soul can have uh, morels, but that's not the best item. So let's just let's just roll for another jinx. There's Ezreal, and there's a Yasuo. So we get rid of this for now, and we have we have a nice group of six rebels buffing up our kings. So we sell this, we sell all of this, and now. Just go 
we definitely need the GA for Jinx. This planet will be purged of criminal filth. Rabidon is definitely not something we want, and we need to get uh, another level. Yeah, this guy's doing Rebel Blade Master? That's uh, weaker, so he, he will die before I do. Although he has more upgraded units than I do. But um, I just need to get to 8. I just need to get to 8 to find my uh, MF. And I can put the Blitz back in at 8. Actually, let's do that right now. I don't want to lose HP. So let's do that. So this is probably the strongest I can have. And, uh, yeah, I should be relatively okay for now. As long as Jinx can get excited. Yeah, now she's getting some kills. And that's perfect. There we go. So, we didn't, we, we rolled a little bit, but rolling is not the best, so... What we want to do is just get them levels, so we get more units. Now I would want a sword or armor for Jinx. Aurelian Soul is also very nice if I can pick that up. Very unlikely though. A bow on Jinx. I can make a Rage Blade on her if I, if I uh, want to. Or I can... Uh, Try to get her perfect, you got it. So, <coughs> that way I got the sword. So hopefully I will get an armor, so that I make it QA. There we go, and I have my Rabidon's Death Cap, and I don't need a Blade Master. Demolition is Mystic. I, I just want to put in a Misfortune. And right now, I don't have any units using this. Yeah, but I don't want to make, make those items yet, so I will wait, and hopefully I'll get an Aurelian Soul or Misfortune, one or the, one or the other. Now, I'm not completely strong yet, but uh, I do have a decent amount of relatively, relatively strong units that are able to there we go, Jinx has got excited, Jinx is playing red buff, Jinx has got killed, and this planet the Kale is popping off, yeah. But that's okay, we're just aiming for top 4, we're just aiming for top 4, we have to roll a little bit, find that Jinx, find something, there's a Yasuo, that's not amazing, but it's better than nothing. And that's all we're getting right now. Would love to get uh, Ready a there so. Grab it on death cap. And since we have the blast here, we shall put this back in over Ezreal until we are able to get food. And we're still losing, but that's okay because we, we got a nice uh, HP lead at the beginning. So now we're just trying not to die, and we can put in this, get rid of that, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll stay alive a bit longer to get more items. And I think this is relatively strong enough. Chogaf is better as a better brawler. So we're getting one Chogaf. Let's see what we get. We get a bit of gold. That's uh, not that great, but we can make another Giant Slayer, which we shall. Second Giant Slayer. 
uh, Morales to help spread buff. That can go on six for now. That's going on Aurelian Soul eventually. We put this in. We buy the four cross and we roll a little bit. We get our Jinx. And now that we've got our Jinx, we should be able to stabilize relatively easily. Yeah. So I believe we are stronger than him. Definitely stronger than him. Yeah. So even though he got the Jinx 2 way faster than we did, his build is a lot weaker than mine. Defend yourself. And I'm slowly getting my two stars. I could get Chen, obviously, but uh, I want the Rebels, I want the Brawlers, and I want the Blasters. Everything else is, is just a bonus. So, And if, if I get a Lulu, I would put Lulu in, because uh, Lulu is just a lot stronger. Now Jinx is getting red buff, Jinx has got a few kills, Jinx has got excited, and I'm happy excited as well, and there we go, cleaning up nicely. Now if we want to get more of this, we're definitely not getting bad with that, so... I mean, uh, this guy has a Demolitionist and Blade Master. Well, I have a blaster and brawler. Now this is a nice, nice formation. It's all tucked in. Sona can get uh, hooked by Blitz, and everything else is relatively protected. Yeah. So Jinx is getting faster attacks. Now he's excited, and now we should be able. Even kill too. And now, since we're ahead on HP and we're getting wins, now is the time to go to nine. Now is the time to go to level level nine and put in Lulu. Now, ideally, we want a Rabadon or the Fist or additional mana or even. Uh, USS, obviously all of these things are going to be taken, I presume they will be taken, yep, the gloves are going to be taken, maybe this will be left over, let's, let's hope so, this is left over, perfect, so I can get some, some crits, uh, perhaps a Kale would work, instead of the Sona, I mean, uh, there, Sona's there, okay. So now we have Sona, and there's a Kale here. So if we put in Kale, I think that makes that makes the build stronger. So we get rid of this and this. And we put on into a gauntlet. So she really does a lot of magic damage. And uh, yeah, we can just put Kale here. So everything is around Jinx. And yeah, we, we want to have these. So Malphite is, is useless and Sona is useless basically. So we want to have the units doing the most damage and doing the most useful. Actually, in front. And uh, there we go. Nice and easy. That was easy. So that, that's the whole point. The whole point is uh, clearing everything. And I, I, think, I think this uh, new new six rebel variation could work or rather new it's probably been around for a while but it's my take so now <coughs> we want uh, mystic so mystic is definitely good that is something i want to add in later so 52 let's see how the numbers guys do the numbers guy is still alive and he's still buying jinxes so that's fine so there's an mf there 
There's an MF there. So, yeah, it's not that likely that I'll get MF2. Nor will I be able to get KL2. So, or Jinx 3. I might be able to get Malphite, but who cares? So, the best thing I can do is put it right now. So, Jinx is getting nice and excited. Getting those kills. Spreading that red buff. Using time so we can destroy everything. And, uh, what Jinx did in Slay. MF Slay. And there we go. That was a Fiora 3, by the way. Not that it mattered much, but. Yeah, unfortunately she's dead too. So, now I believe we basically secured a top 4 spot. I don't think we can be worse than 3rd right now. There's another MF. That's nice. We shall take the MF. And that's uh, full items. <coughs> so, who's doing a decent amount of damage? Kale is doing some damage. So we can put those items on Kale. I believe uh, that'll be the best course of action. Range, yes. New Gauntlet, yes. And this can go on the Astro since he does a lot of physical damage. There we go, that's for you, Mr. Astro. And you get some items as well. There we go, further damage for Kale. Now it's uh, 48. I don't, I don't need to rush. I don't need to rush anything. I will just put the kill over here because I think I play. Yeah, I'm likely to play. Okay, so he has an infiltrator that that might hurt Kale, but that's okay. So actually, Kale was pretty safe over here. So we'll leave Kale where she was. This is probably the safest I can have. I definitely want MF to be safe, and I want Kale to be safe. And I obviously want to level up, which I will do next turn at cost 36, so I have not missed interest. Everything is jumping away from me and the tail. There we go, MF skills he has definitely improved, and another guy is gone. Nice and easy. By the Lulu. Level up. Put the Lulu in for the Mystic buff. And because Lulu herself is amazing. There we go. We're just looking for MF and Kale. There's a Kale. So we sell this. We're just looking for MF and Kale. MF and Kale. Shield, that's very nice, but unless she's level 2, I can't afford to buy that. So I'm sorry, I'm not getting that for you. I still love you, MF, but I don't love you that much. I mean, even Kale is doing a decent amount of damage. And there we go, there's now that cruelty that's gonna be just barely not strong enough. So, there goes our uh, win streak. But uh, we're ready. We're ready for this. We're going to keep rolling. We're going to keep rolling and we're not going to find anything, unfortunately. One more roll. That is quite unfortunate. So that was Koirel. Before that was Cory. So I'm playing either like Mike or the numbers guy. Okay, the numbers guy will be very easy. Like Mike might not be as easy, but I think. <coughs> this is still the best way to position my units. So now I want something for my tail or for my Lulu. So if I can get mana for my Lulu, that will be amazing. And I got killed again. Unfortunately. So I need to reposition. I like my is dead. So I'm in the top three as I, as I said I would be. So we need something either for Kale or I guess we get the Shroud. The Shroud is, is the highest value item here and they know that as well. So something for Kale or Lulu. Now I have a tier so I might, get, might as well get another tier. That will pop off. I will get an MF2 and I can put the tier on Ziggs. There we go, I put the tier on Ziggs. 
So I tried to get another kale. Unfortunately, I did not get another kale. So now I move this up a little bit to protect my units a bit more, and I can hide the kale over here or over here. I just need to make sure there's no blitz. Okay, good. He's just trying to get my units over here. So I'm playing against this guy again. Uh, there's a nice stun there. But this is not gonna kill them, unfortunately. And he won as well. That's very unfortunate for me that they both won. So no one got eliminated. And I still can't find the tail. Nor can I find an Aurelian soul, which is kind of interesting. So I lost against this guy. And now I will be playing this guy again. So we need to reposition. Quickly. Like so. So, 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 and we messed it up a little bit, and if I had moved that, I would have done a little bit better, but I think this will be fine. Still got hit. So let's see how we fair. And uh, we got a solid third place. Very nice. Very nice third place. Yep. Very nice third place.